They all count. Twitter now has a temporary limit on how many tweets people can read per day. The social media company has limited how many tweets you can view in one sitting. This is not the first time we've seen outages on Twitter, but it is the first time we've seen restrictions on how many tweets you can view imposed on purpose. In the past, we've seen Twitter limit how much you can tweet, and we also saw outages when data centers were closed and there were mass layoffs. But why is it happening now? On Saturday the 1st of July, Twitter made a number of changes to their service, requiring people to log in to view any tweet. And then the platform significantly clamped down and restricted people from viewing tweets altogether. They announced that those who pay for Twitter Blue, the $8 a month service, could read 6,000 posts per day. But those who were unverified could only view 600 posts, and new unverified accounts could only read 300. Which, believe me, you can get through incredibly quickly. Hashtag Twitter down, hashtag rate limit exceeded, and RIP Twitter began trending as Twitter users became increasingly frustrated that they were being frozen out of social media. It begs the question of why. Why is Twitter stopping its users from seeing content? As surely that's the only reason Twitter exists in the first place and the only way that Twitter can make money through advertising. The temporary limits are designed to address extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation by AI companies who are scraping data from Twitter, which is forcing Twitter to deploy more servers which costs them more money. And the worst thing is that the AI businesses like OpenAI or Google Bard are taking the data for free. Whilst these reasons seem plausible, some users have their doubts feeling that Twitter is just encouraging people to sign up to Twitter Blue and pay a monthly subscription to bypass these issues, as they can still read over 10,000 views daily. However, Twitter's former head of trust and safety, Yoel Roth, said they always knew about scraping on Twitter and were fine with it, implying that the sudden switch smells a bit fishy. But Musk said that it is rather galling to have to bring large numbers of servers online on an emergency basis just to facilitate some AI startup's outrageous valuation, and is looking to charge third parties to access Twitter's data in a bid to raise revenues. It's also maybe a wise defensive move after Meta were fined 265 million euros last year for failing to protect EU user data from being scraped. However, when rebuilding relationships with advertisers is Twitter's priority moving forwards, it's not a good look when Twitter salespeople are asking for advice on what to tell clients who can't see their tweets, to disgruntled former employees like Esther Crawford who tweeted this. The other consequences that Twitter users might look to take their time elsewhere. You say it's like Twitter but decentralized and it's called a blue sky. With Jack Dorsey's Blue Sky now a serious competitor, as well as Threads, a meta-powered Twitter challenger due to launch this week in the US. In spite of all the drama, Elon Musk has taken this well though, and joked with his fans that the reason I set a view limit is because we are all Twitter addicts and need to go outside. I'm doing a good deed for the world here. Also, that's another view you just used. Maybe that's good advice for all of us.